looking at getting a hypoallergenic for your child? Well, I'm going to give you the best hypoallergenic, uh, hypoallergenic dogs for kids. Hi guys, it's Chloe here from Everything Dogs with Chloe. And on this channel, we talk about anything dogs. So if you're new here, please think about subscribing. And don't forget to check out all the links down below. Let's get into the video. So when I talk about the best hypoallergenic dogs for kids, obviously there are so many breeds out there and sometimes some of these breeds do depend on how you bring them up. So please bear that in mind. Obviously today I can't talk about every single breed out there that is great for kids, but in today's video I've whittled it down just to a few. So let's get into it. So the first dog that I've put down is a Border Terrier. Border Terriers are gorgeous. They are so intelligent and very trainable. They're so friendly and kind as well and they are great with kids. They do have lots of energy and would like to get walked quite a lot of the time but also a great thing as well is that you can train them to pay, play fetch which is great for the dog because they get exercise and great for your child. They are incredibly fearless and very even tempered as well. Um, they do need stripping so that is something to be aware of. The next dog that I've got down is a Bedlington Terrier. Now please note there are two types of Bedlington Terriers. There are the show type and there are the working type. The working type are like a lot stockier, square noses, um, they look fat but they're not. Um, they are very different to the show type. I have the show type and he is the best dog around India ever and he is so good with kids um the show type uh, the, sorry the working type are really bold really strong like to chase a lot of things ted does but i can control him quite easily so that is something to think about um they do need clipping so that is also something else to think about now this is a new breed that i've come across um they're called a cotton de tula um, these are lovely looking dogs. I've never come across them before. They are hypoallergenic. They are very playful, affectionate, lively and trainable. And that's what I got offline. Um, so yes, that is a breed definitely to look into. I don't think I'd be getting one just because I really like my Bedlington Ted. So um, yes, but if you're looking for something unusual, that might be a dog to go for. Uh, the next one I've got down is a Maltese. Oh, these are gorgeous dogs. They are white, so they are going to need a lot of bathing. Uh, they're very playful, gentle, lively, and incredibly docile. Um, it's always great to have a gentle dog with when you've got young kids about. Um, you also want one that's trainable because you want to be able to tell them no and for them to understand as well. The next one is a bit of a controversial one. This is a Chinese crested. Um, they basically don't have a lot of hair. So they are great for hypoallergenic people um, and kids. Um, they are very small and tiny and cute. Um, they're really happy, playful little dogs. They're very affectionate and they are sweet tempered. So potentially they are definitely a dog to look into. But you do need to be aware of them getting really cold in the winter. So definitely wrap them up warm because obviously they've not got much hair. Thank you so much for watching guys and if you are new here please think about subscribing. Don't forget to check out all the links down below and follow me on all of my social media. I really hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching guys. Bye!